Hi. No, ¿cómo era nuestro super saludo? Good morning, afternoon, or evening to all of you people from the internet, and welcome to Movie, movie break. break, the show where we stop our lives to watch movies and break them apart like in a snack. Yay, pun. Yay. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> all right, so we just watched Silent, Silent Hill. Hill. Yeah. The first one. And it, I don't know, it's... I like it because I love the way that it shows how wonderful the scenography or the scenes were um they were shot in a way that we actually enjoyed yeah because it it's actually creepy it's very the camera shots everything was so well done yeah it was very everything, well done everything was so great but the story the, yeah my it God. sucks <laughs> and my favorite character, spoiler alert, dies. Um, you didn't warn them before you just say I she said died. Spoiler alert. But but you you didn't I mean, give like, like five seconds or something. You I just... said spoiler alert. It's like when you say no homo. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a movie that was based on the famous video game series Silent Hill, who with which was released for the PlayStation, I think. Yeah, it, it is very similar, at least the, the aesthetics and everything, but the story is so different. It's dumb. Yeah, it, it all revolves about this girl like, named Rose that adopted a child and this Yeah, and she's a dumb fuck. Like, wh <laughs> why would you even go to Silent Hill if my child like screams at night oh concepcion or uh, silent hill i'm not going to take her there if if someone's screaming the name of a city while having some sort of panic attack while sleeping i'm not taking them there besides she she didn't know anything about silent hill she did some research on the internet yeah she like found a ghost town and she said Oh, this could be good for her. She didn't need yeah. medication. She doesn't need to go to the psychiatrist. No, let's take her there. Let's have the time of our lives. Yeah, nice trip, bitch, to Silent Hill. And right. then, well, she decides to go there without telling her husband and... The husband does everything to stop her, but she got in there anyway. Th they met Sybil on a gas station. Stop! <laughs> Cut. She met Sybil on a gas station and she thinks that Rose stole the child or something like that. Yeah, it was some sort of weird idea that Sybil got into her head. Blonde hair, by the way. I didn't think that she was blonde until she took off the helmet. But she was so cool, so it was badass. I don't care if she was blonde. Yeah, she was super badass. I like her. She is my favorite. She was. I'm sorry. It's the only good character. Yeah, it's the only good character in the movie. And um, she didn't deserve to. Spoiler: one, two, three, four, five. Die. She didn't deserve to die. The way she died, because the way she died was terrible and horrifying and completely uncalled for. So anyway, this rose girl just crashed into this town because of a ghost she saw. Yeah, she wakes up. She's in the middle of the town. There is mm. ashes in the air. and It looks like snow, but they yeah. are ashes. But but that's a very well done effect. It was so... The ambience, it's so yeah. amazing. It's, it's like actually... And the camera work, I like it. Yeah, it's like very reminiscent of the game it's oh my I, I, you can I, I, feel I, I, like you're playing with rose but and, rose is just a, fucking, a fucking idiot you wouldn't do that if you were playing you wouldn't do the thing she does <laughs> in the movie because she's an idiot i mean you saw a kid running away you assume is your own kid like bitch don't you know your own kid do you really know do you, do you really think your own kid is going to run away from you you fucking ass yeah, bitch. She's a moron. Yeah, Please don't. God, don't let me be a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she go goes deeper. There's this uh, police. No, no, this fireman sound. Fire. Like a fire alarm. Fire alarm. Yes, and then everything goes to hell. Everything changes. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and 
it's a very well done effect, I think. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was 2006, it looks old nowadays, but mm. for the time it was very well done. Yeah, the way that walls uh, were like melting and burning and everything was ashes, but there was just... I think one effect that I didn't like was the monsters. N not all of the monsters. The babies. The, the babies, babies, like were... the bur burning baby babies on fire. That was terrifying. Like it was so poorly done. <laughs> <laughs> but that was actually the reason it was kind of scary because yeah. it looks so bad that <laughs> that it was good. Yeah, <laughs> because. Let's face it, everyone is afraid of cats. Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. makes perfect That's sense. That's true. Yeah. True. But I didn't like the effect. Yeah. It was just like... <laughs> so cheap. Very yeah, cheap. Yeah, it was cheap. <laughs> but all, all of the others were uh, really great. I mean, yeah. Colin. Colin, oh, that guy. Yeah. He, he was terrifying. I mean, he deserved it. Because of things that happened later. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it. so Rose. The bitch had it coming. <laughs> Rose escapes from the babies. She met Sybil again. Yeah. And this... They should have run away together. We'll just stop shipping them. I can't. I mean, it was so obvious and such a better story <laughs> than Twilight. <laughs> no, but I mean, but, yeah, I mean really, she... it was a better story than Twilight. She actually protected Rose a lot. It was like. Leave my bitch alone, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. And, and I mean, let's be uh, let's be honest here. If Sybil didn't love this f dumb fuck Rose, she would have like run away. Why would why would you stay in that town? Well, she tr they tried to live, but it was impossible. So yeah, but I mean, you could have like hid like hide. On a place or in the church no but you were like oh i'm going to save this bitch because i want to live with her forever and we have this little monster kid and you this, know yeah still a better story than twilight a better love story than twilight yeah so they met and this you you ship them too why don't you just accept it because of reasons what what reasons rose has a, rose has an ass, an ass, look. Rose has an ass, an ass. <laughs> Rose, Rose ha has an ass, yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they met this crazy lady later that had a child that resembles Sharon. No. The adopted kid. And the adopted kid? Yeah, she was adopted. <laughs> Alright! Sharon was a. Sorry. What? Sorry, sorry. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's offensive. I don't know. Why it's offensive to say I that up to kid? I'm bound to my political correctness. <laughs> she knew she was adopted. Ah, why? Right, right, right. Why right. is that right, offensive? Right, the adopted kid. The adopted kid. Why would you lie to adopt to an adopted kid? I wouldn't. But I'm not the. I'm not a role model. She was fucking adopted. You want to? <laughs> you fuck. Yeah. Yeah. She was okay. adopted. Okay. Yeah. This crazy lady that had a child that resembles Sharon, but in secret she already knew this girl. She kidnapped her because I don't know. We didn't know that until the end. I'm, I'm getting which, way ahead of. It. Which one are you talking about? The crazy lady. The no. Oh, the crazy lady. The crazy lady kidnapped Sharon. Sharon. Because she resembles her own kid that died. In the fire and became this monster kid yeah no. but i don't know why he why she kidnapped her be, just because oh my god you look like my girl yes just come to my house and i'm gonna give you cookies and to cream. prevent this crazy call to all right burn her so yeah that, that was the point so there was just one bitch that i was so happy to see like dying painfully dying was this christabella yeah, yeah christabella. christabella was a bitch she's the leader of the cult the the one that actually cursed this town yeah and don't do religion kids <laughs> it's bad for your health yeah it brings like the evilness in the world out and it will kill you someday yeah it will insert this 
things in your but JJ. But JJ, and <laughs> it's just gonna be like a bloody mess. Like I'm not even <laughs> yeah. exaggerating. So they go to a school. They go to a hotel. They go into a hospital. A hospital. Everything goes terribly, terribly wrong. In a bathroom. Yeah. For everybody, like I mean, for yeah, I mean, there for, was, a le- for a yeah, there, those those bugs. They had a face. I, I know. Yeah, remember. That there was were stupid. There were <laughs> bugs like like some cockroaches. Um. But they had faces. They had faces, and you could see them screaming. <laughs> it was super weird. This stupid. was the moment where Pyramid Head appeared. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. Nice Pyramid they, Head. They nailed Pyramid Head. <clears throat> it it was kind of scary with his big ass knife. <laughs> yeah, it was a big ass knife. Like how how could you move that thing like it was nothing? <laughs> he he like cut. A fucking door, door, a steel door, like steel door, like it was butter. You fucking ass bitch. He, he was, he, and he was. I mean, it wasn't a teeny tiny arm, but he wasn't like a big strong man. Yeah. He was just a regular strong man. <laughs> <laughs> but he could move this big ass <laughs> knife, the size of a, like Australia, and cut through the iron door door i don't know iron or maybe other it, it was hard metal it was hard yeah very hard not very very hard yeah, yeah. don't <laughs> <laughs> not yet. yes but anyway he doesn't do much he just <laughs> kill the one of these believers yeah the way he kills her though first he rips her clothes off yeah like it was nothing and then take this her skin out like oh my like god like he's going to wear her like a little coat that was horrible yeah it was amazing uh yeah it, the movie... like he was so strong he could <laughs> rip your skin your skin like nothing well anyway this movie is, is all about trying to find Sharon where she is trying to solve what's the mystery behind Silent Hill. Meanwhile, the husband has his own adventure. With some other guy. Every Gucci. Gucci. Gucci, yeah. Well, Gucci, Gucci. Every, it's like everybody knows about Silent Hill, but no one is able to tell the story to him. Like, I was... During the whole time, I was like, could you fucking explain the plot? Like, for real. Yeah. And... He just goes to a police station and breaks into the police station because that's what you're supposed to do in this weird town. And, and he found these files on about Silent Hill that no one was capable of telling him about the story of the town. Now, I, what? Why? Why? I, I don't get it. What? No one says anything to him. I don't know. But because it's Sean Bean. Nobody gives a <laughs> fuck about Sean Bean. And he was... And he didn't die. <laughs> he was searching through these files. And suddenly he reads Gucci. 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 Gucci? And he takes the file because... Gucci. Plot. Because of the plot. And it turns out that that was the file of... Alessa Gillespie. Yeah, the, the girl that died on this town... That got burned because everybody thought that she was a witch. She was a, a sinner. I don't know. I don't get why they thought she was a sinner. It, uh, no, she. I. Th- I think it's because she was like the representation of sin. Oh. Because oh. her mom was with a guy, and that guy didn't didn't actually stay with her. So this kid didn't have a father, and she came from an impure sort of family. Oh my. Like the family of all of us right now. Yes. Divorced parents. Yeah. And, um, you know, th- the girl didn't have anything to do with sin, but they burned her and she got raped by Colin. And That was, was before the. Yo, yeah. 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 She wasn't raped after being burned. <laughs> you fucking. That would have bitch. been terrible. <laughs> yeah. No, she was raped. She was bullied. She was born a bitch, to death. a bitch, a witch, <laughs> and she was burned to death. I mean, no, no, she didn't die. 
but she was like burned to ashes but living ashes yeah and with this kind of cold that happened when she was getting burned there was this evil thing happening and she actually absorbed dark energy or something like that i don't know what the hell happened there i i don't know either the thing is that the evil side of her helped her to take revenge on the town and it gets cursed because of that i don't know what the fuck was that but according to what you're saying and what i'm thinking <laughs> yes it was like the devil itself because yeah. she says i have heard many names okay you know we it know we know was okay weird. Yeah. fine we know who you are so maybe it was the devil itself that actually helped this weird kid to get revenge on the people that burned her to almost death yes and the devil itself helped this kid to hide her good side in a baby and she delivered this baby into an orphanage and what would you know this couple just adopt her and that's how everything starts from the beginning of the movie and it was so confusing i don't get the years no don't care about the years you, don't Because you ever it was like care for it, she's going to be 40 and then <laughs> 10 years ago this good thing kid i don't know was delivered at the orphanage <laughs> and 30 years <laughs> happened i mean What happened during those 30 years that I don't get? I she, don't get. she was still a baby 30 years ago. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? I don't know if... if I you, don't get the years. If sorry. you know what's going on here, please leave a comment below because I want to know. Yeah. Anyway, this evil side hides inside Rose. Rose goes into this church where Sybil dies. They burned yeah. it. They burned Sybil. <laughs> Why you didn't arrive earlier, you fucking asshole? I hate Because you. Because she's a dumb fuck. I've said it before. She is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like looking at something maybe and not saving the girl. Yeah. Like the girl got burned, you bitch. She got burned for, for you. Yeah, she got burned for her. Like, I know. She wasn't supposed to die because she was so good. <laughs> Anyway, this is not kind of for, for into the game in the game, so it doesn't. She's still alive. Oh, she's still alive in the games, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Rose dies. Rose doesn't exist. Rose, uh, nice. <laughs> Any anyway, uh, this dark girl get gets into the church. It starts killing everyone in this cult, especially yeah. Christabella. She becomes a bed. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she's, a, she's the bed. <laughs> yeah, and the mom, and her mom ask, asks her, like, why did you become? And I was like, a fucking bed, don't you Can't see? Can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> and then, anyway, the next morning, they, the, um, Rose and Sharon get out of this church into their car. And for some reason, they arrive home and everything is still in ashes. Yeah. It's like they But didn't escape or something. I, there was I there was a, a moment in which um, the bad monster was actually killing everybody, and Rose was laying on the floor with her kid, and she's like, "Oh, close your eyes, close your eyes." And the evil side of of Sharon mm -hmm. uh, looks was, at her. Yeah, she was looking at her at the kid, and the dumb kid just had to open his stupid eyes. Yeah, I mean, like obey your mama bitch and yeah well it, she it, didn't it seems that's the reason they got cursed to live in silent hill forever not not in silent hill but the silent hill silent hill version of their home i don't fucking know they couldn't escape but i don't i don't get why they couldn't escape if if the evil monster in silent hill was a less gillespie She wasn't mad at Rose, nor the kid. Why, Why wouldn't this monster let them escape? I don't get it. I just, I don't, no, know. I don't know. But in the second movie that we're not going no, to talk about now, because you hadn't seen it. Yes. Um, I mean, you haven't seen it? I haven't seen it at all. 
So don't talk about that. Okay, so they escaped, and Sean Bean is in the in the house too. But he, since he's in the normal dimension, yeah, he can see it. And yeah, Sean Bean's scenes were so useless. Stupid. It. I mean, you didn't need Sean Bean to appear at all. Like no, no. You could have just the crazy lady tell the plot. Yeah, like she was there. And. This movie would have been 30 minutes shorter no. without Sean Bean because if you take those scenes out... Like, we actually talked during those yeah. scenes. Like, we, we were commenting on the film. Nobody cares about you, Sean Bean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were like, I'm just sorry. die, Sean Bean, <laughs> during the whole thing. Oh, shit. No, but it's fine. Anyway. So, yeah, that was the movie. Yeah. Uh, and <clears throat> I have to say this. I told you this before, but Silent Hill was not about discovering the truth behind this town. Yeah. It was never about that. It was about these random flawed people that stumble upon this town. They wake up in the middle of the streets and they face their own demons that were represented into monsters in this town. And each character has their own type of demon. They're, they have their own design. But that that's the thing. They, they're supposed to go there to learn something about themselves. Learn a lesson about, about life. Like you're living in your own hell? Yeah. Silent Hill is more like a, a mental place than a physical place. It, well, it is a physical place, but it changes each Depending it, on the person that actually is living the experience of being in Silent Hill. Yeah, Silent Hill is a psychological game. It's it's about learning something about... I already said that, but... Yeah, it's stupid to see this movie actually try to explain what happened in Silent Hill. Because we don't know anything about Rose or... Well, uh, neither about Sharon. Well, well, this cold thing was just ridiculous. Why it's always this kind of plot where the town is cursed and it's always about the... It's a cliche. Yeah, the cult, the crazy cult that... I don't know, will you stop with the crazy cult plot? I mean, religion is stupid and it's a great source to create uh, dumb plots. But yes. stop it already. We, we have seen everything. <laughs> stop it! Stop trying to make religion happen. It, it <laughs> happens and it destroyed our world. So... Stop. We, <laughs> we we see religion's uh, consequences in the real world. And we don't want to see it in movies. Yes. Or maybe just in movies, please. Well, I'm a Christian. Stop it in the <laughs> real world. Yeah, but you're a Christian. Like, like your name... I mean... My I'm, name is Chris. <laughs> no, I just read it by name to the internet. No. I'm no. Drake. I'm Drake. I mean, you're a Christian, but like some sort of... A cr cr Chris... Like... My you're you're a Chris. Yes. Okay. So no, don't don't you ever say my name. <laughs> this is the internet. Yeah. Well. Yeah. My name is related. My to... My name is. <laughs> no, you're not related to Christianity or anything. Yep. But I... you're a Christian, but yeah. a normal Christian. Like I'm a Christian too, but, but I don't give a fuck about. Yeah, anything. it's like we have our beliefs. We and you have your beliefs about anything if you believe in some sort of religion or or if you don't have a religion it doesn't matter it's okay but oh these people were crazy don't go around burning people like what the fuck what the do fuck you is think wrong you, with you are <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> there is so many wrong things about you people yeah. i mean not you especially you yeah. but about people Everyone. in general yeah um so that was the movie. I actually like Silent Hill, and one of my favorite it's scenes is the uh, nurse. The nurse. The nurses scene, or the scene in which the nurses like do this um, sort of dance, <laughs> and it's amazing. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's weird and it's amazing, and you need to know they that twitch that a lot. Yeah, like... and that scene was uh, was done by professional dancers. Yeah, you were telling me that yeah. during the movie. Yeah, because they did a great job. I mean, they, <laughs> yeah. they they danced very well and it's a great scene. So I think <clears throat> I'll give this movie like a 6 out of 10. It's actually good in at least the, the scenery. It's the, entertaining. Yeah, the, the actors actually, they all make a very good 
Java. What? What? What the hell? What? Where is it? Whoa! Oh my! Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> Technical problems. The thingy is it? Time to fall. Time to fall, girl. <laughs> Just wait a second. Hee <laughs> hee! Technical problems. Yay! We all have it. So, I think I'll give this movie a six out of. 10 because first of all they nailed down the look of Silent Hill it yeah. was very well done the moment they they changed shapes and everything from the beginning to the end yeah the monsters were very well d done well the babies were creepy yeah. and cheap but the rest was very good the actors they did a very well job portraying the characters yeah yeah they were like professionals well Sean Bean is I don't know I mean Sean Bean is an actor but yeah. Yeah, uh, the but rest the rest, yeah, they were good. okay. Even the kid, the, I was impressed by the kid. Yeah, but the first scene of the kid was okay. I mean, like seriously, I was, I, I actually told you that's great acting. Yeah, like, I, I, I believed her when she mm -hmm. was in pain and having this little panic attack. <laughs> but yeah, the the plot is where this movie gets very, very wrong. Yeah. As I said, S Silent Hill is not about discovering what the hell happened to this town. It's about the people that act that walks inside this town. They have to learn about themselves, face their monsters and that kind of stuff. This is they were so close with the rest, but the plot was so stupid, right? Yeah, the plot was stupid and yeah. the fact that you could escape but I mean, it's yeah. an interesting fact. You could ex you could escape, escape. You can escape. You, after. you can escape. No, and from yourself, if you go to church, <laughs> it's something like you you have to think about it. Like people escape from themselves all the time going yeah. to church. Like I go to church. I'm not a, a bad person, and then I rape my kid. Well, I'm, I, wow. at least wow, I go to church. <laughs> what's your what's that your escalated score? Ki quickly? Yeah. What's your score, please? <laughs> but come on, there are people that go to church and they are evil, like yeah. literally evil. They're very evil. And they go to church and, and pretends like no, like nothing happens. I and they are role models for some reason. <laughs> but but it, I mean, you couldn't you you can think about it or not. Yeah. It it's something it's that called my attention in the movie that yeah. you can protect yourself in church. So uh, we had some technical problems and I was going to give you my score. Yeah. What's your score? I I'll give Silent Hill a um I I don't know, a 5.7 out of 10. <laughs> and you were the one that loved this movie and you actually gave it a lower score than mine. <laughs> yeah, because I hate the babies. Oh my yeah, the babies. The kids are terrifying. I'm going to give you my reasons why this movie uh, wasn't as good as I remembered it was, but it was still watchable and entertaining. Yeah. First of all, they killed Sybil, and that's not something you should have done, bitches. <laughs> Second of all, um, Rose was stupid. Third, the babies were poorly done, even though the rest of the effects were uh, all great. Right. <clears throat> all right um the character of christabella i mean if it all the other point. yeah but if all the other actors were doing their best to give uh, an impression of suffering and and i actually believed what they were going through christabella was there like over over everything yeah. like she she was just put there to make me hate her and then being happy about her death. Her death, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it's entertaining. Mm -hmm. It's an entertaining movie, just as um, the, last, the last movie of Resident Evil. It's not a good movie. It's it, it, The plot makes absolutely no sense. But it's entertaining at some... At some I don't know. At some levels. Yeah. Like, you get entertained. I but it was a little bit long. I... It was Silent two, Hill? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's two hours. The Sean Bean scenes makes no sense at all. Yeah, they, they are not useful to the plot or yeah. anything, really. It was but just a movie to 
give Sean Bean a job, <laughs> and he did it, but it wasn't necessary at all. Yeah. So it's time for Wolf's recommendation of the week. Yes, my recommendation of the week, and I don't know if I did this before. Did I talk about The Handmaid's Tale? What was I that about? About girls that were meant to procreate for human race? No, I think you don't. Okay, so this is the time in which I can give you my recommendations. And <clears throat> I'm not going to recommend um, Silent Hill. I mean, I'm not going to recommend the last movie of uh, Resident Evil because it, it sucks. It sucks. It sucks. <laughs> it sucks. And um, even if it's entertaining for me, because I'm a sucker for those movies, it's a bad movie. I have standards. Like, I forget my standards when I'm watching it. But so, what's your, what you're gonna recommend to I'm people? going to recommend <laughs> um, a series that is actually um, being... being uh, I don't know how to say it. ¿Cómo decís cuando una serie está como en proceso? It's being de developed. No, está saliendo toda la semana. It's getting released every week. It's on. Um, that is not completely... That is not we're, finished. We're in the middle of... We're getting in the middle of the season. Maybe. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about a series, a new series um, developed by Hulu. Hello. Not Netflix. And it's called The Handmaid's Tale. It's a series based on a book by Margaret Atwood, a Canadian writer. And it's about... Handmaids, which are women, are uh, women that are used to preserve human race, and they lived in a hierarchical society in which men have all the power and women are just objects. And it's very frustrating and infuriating for me to watch, but it's a great series. Um, it actually addresses a lot of problems. I get to see one chapter a week and it's killing me now but um, it, it's a great series it's actually um, it <laughs> ¿Cómo decís que ya hay una segunda temporada? There's already a second season No, no, pero como que ya aceptaron que hay una segunda I got re renewed Yeah Renew, renew, renew Even if the series hasn't finished yet it got renewed for a second season because it's so good and um, well I'm not going to tell you anything because it's better if you watch it for yourself. So give it a try, The Handmaid's Tale. Um, and I think, oh, and a movie recommendation. Uh, yes. a mov my movie recommendation is going to be, well, you can choose between two movies. Choose one. Yeah. You no, I mean, you can you save the, the one for later. No, because I watched two, and both of them are from make Alfred people, Hitchcock. Make people wait for your recommendation. No, make them wish. fine, fine. <laughs> but what? Which one? Mm. Um, okay, so my movie recommendation for this week it's Rear Window. It's a movie directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and it's old by Gra but Grace Kelly looks like a fucking queen. She's so cute in this movie, and uh, the plot is great. The scenery is great. It's an old movie though. So if you're if you want to watch a, an old movie, give it a try. If you don't want to watch an old movie, you will have to wait for my next recommendation. Yes. And um, whenever that is going to happen because I haven't, that's gonna happen. I haven't even released the first episode of Movie Break and uh, my god. Yeah. But we I, were recording this since mid 2016. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I'm sorry. Like we've been talking about bad movies and good movies and bad series and good series and porn movies for some fucking reason that I cannot remember why. Because you wanted to appear on my show. Right. <laughs> Because I was giving my voice to one of your characters. Yes. The ship. Yeah. The shipinator. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was the ship. And the ship. The, the sheep. 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 I was the sheep. And uh, that, that's ship. it. <laughs> I know. Um, and well, I guess we will see each other next. Next time. Next time, because yeah. I don't know when yeah. you're going to post this on. Yeah, but to upload this, I don't know how to you. How do you say that? We're like, in, in May 2017. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, May 2017. This is going to get uploaded on May 2020. <laughs> like, yeah. Anyway, thanks, thanks for uh, all the all anyway. the series I'm recommending and all the movies are going to be old. Yes. For the time you. I will upload everything. Yeah. Things. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, give a like. Give a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Yeah, there's there's a links in the description below to any social media to her Instagram where she uploads photos, very good photos. <laughs> And leave your recommendation down below about movies you watch. And if you want us to talk about a movie that you liked or disliked, you can give it. Uh, you can. Um, Put it on the comments. Yeah. yeah, you can put it on the comments below and we will see if we can watch it. I don't know. And maybe we're gonna remember it. We're gonna watch Super Mario Brothers next week. Really? Yes. You're gonna do that to me? That was the first movie that I recommended you to you. You made me watch porn. You wanted to watch porn. What? <laughs> don't tell them that. <laughs> you you uh, made me watch porn. Anyway, bye everyone. Stroke him on. What the fuck is that?